marvelous red-billed tropic bird. These migratory birds spend most of their lives at sea, flying thousands of kilometers across the Atlantic and only coming to land to breed. High up in the rocks, they find holes to make their nests. But not much else is known about their habits. Researchers from Cape Verde have only recently found one of the largest colonies in the world, here on the island of Sao. Artua Lopez is a field technician with Project Biodiversity, a local organization trying to learn more about the species to help save the birds from threats linked to growing tourism. They monitor more than 500 nests on the island. They are beautiful. They have like a big tail and they have like a, it's like a woman when they want to go out, like you pay the leaves and they pin the eyes. Super nice. Today they're out tagging and taking samples from the birds. They've found an unwilling participant here in the side of the cliff. The bird goes into a bag to help calm it down. First, they'll take blood to determine its sex. It's like a, we take it from the feet. You can see like a, the vein is coming from there to here. We clean it first and after we take it. It's a the samples they collect help them understand more about the bird's habits, diet, and migration patterns, as well as contaminants they've consumed. That also shows how the health of their environments is changing. Feathers also provide some clues. It's like a, to change it, to, to check like a, when, when is the, the time of the year, like a, they change the feather, and to check like a, if they're feeding well and so. Toxins build up in the feathers, evidence of how many pollutants the birds are ingesting and therefore indicative of the health of fish populations and our oceans. Of course, there's also another way to find out what they've been eating. <laughs> After returning the bird home safely, it's time to check on other nests. This baby is just two weeks old, the only chick his parents will have this season. That makes the population especially vulnerable, and red-billed tropic birds are up against an increasingly dangerous world. Not far from their nests, tourists soak up the sun and sand. Construction along the coast erodes natural habitats, and light pollution disorients the seabirds during the night. Introduced species like stray dogs prey on the birds. Not to mention plastic pollution, which gets into their diet through microplastics in the fish they eat. But it's a balancing act. Tourism means more economic opportunities for locals on the island. But Project Biodiversity's co-director says human activity is pushing seabird colonies further and further away from their breeding sites. One of the main problems that we have with seabirds nowadays is loss of habitat. Tourists, they want to be everywhere. There are some developments that are being planned to be uh, constructed on the, on the protected areas near the colonies. So the problem is the is that bringing people close to the colony will bring, again, uh, food waste, which means stray dogs, again, rats, and etc. Our tour is back at the office preparing samples to send to the University of Barcelona for processing, where researchers are discovering new insights by crunching the data he's collected. The team well, hopes its findings will lay the groundwork for saving the red-billed tropic bird and that by understanding their fragile ecosystem, we'll better understand the health of our own worlds.